Now we construct the molecular orbital diagram for carbonyl group. We describe the carbonyl group in terms of an interaction between an sp2 hybridized carbon atom and an sp hybridized oxygen. We will place the molecule in the xy plane and orient the CO bond along the x axis. Two of the carbon sp2 orbitals are used in bonding to A and B. Oxygen having two sp hybrid orbitals and two unhybridized p orbitals. After forming bond with A and B, carbon having one sp2 hybrid orbital and one p orbital. Oxygen is more electronegative than carbon, so we place the oxygen group orbitals to lower energy than the carbonyl group orbitals. We choose an oxygen to be right side and carbon to be left side. Now we can see how the atomic hybridized and un unhybridized orbitals are arranged. The sp2 hybridized carbon overlap with the sp hybridized of oxygen forms sigma carbonyl molecular bonding orbital and sigma star carbonyl antibonding molecular orbital. The last carbon that is P Z orbital overlap with the P E Z orbital of oxygen forms pi C O bonding molecular orbital and pi star C O antibonding molecular orbital. This lateral overlap is less efficient than axial overlap, so the pi C O and pi star C O orbitals lies at energies between sigma and sigma star CO. The oxygen PY orbital is unaffected because it cannot interact with the carbon orbital. The unpaired electron in SP oxygen and unpaired electron in the PZ oxygen gives new non bonding electron. It is represented as S. Similarly, the PY orbital of oxygen represents as P. CO has 10 valence electrons, of which two are used to bind A and B. The 8 remaining electrons will occupy sigma CO, S, pi CO and P in the ground state. Hence, highest occupied molecular orbital is P and lowest unoccupied molecular orbital is pi star CO. This is the overall molecular orbital diagram for carbonyl group. Thank you.